One of my favorite characters in Roblox Rainbow Friends is Orange. Well, today we find out who he is and why he's so evil. Oh, I got a bad feeling. Bad feeling. Yep. It's Orange. That bell you're hearing? That means it's supper time. And boy. Am I hungry? What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to another Game Tunes Roblox Rainbow Friends animation. Today, we're learning about Orange and why he's so hungry and evil, and also maybe why he's orange, and probably a bunch of other crazy questions. The name's Orange, or at least that's what they call me now. Okay. My real name is long forgotten. Just like everything else about who I was before. What's his name? Long Flub? What kind of name is Long Flub? I don't know what his actual name was, guys. Let me know in the comments. What did he just say? I'm a whole nother animal now, except for one thing. My hunger remains. It all started not too long ago. Back then, I was big and powerful, but scared out of my wits. Okay, here's the part of the video where I guess the entire video, and then you guys laugh at me for being wrong. He's very hungry, and he was very big. That makes me think he was a professional eater, right? Like, he was a professional hot dog eater, and that's why he was so fat, and that's why he was so hungry. That's my guess. I was deceived by a lie. A promise of the greatest meal of all time. What? And now I found myself running for my life. Okay, I thought that was the worst guess I have ever had in the history of a reaction video. But I might be right. I if it's actually a hot dog eater, I'm, I'm gonna give myself a million dollars. I flew past the corner and found a box to hide in. Hey, buddy. Where are you? Don't you want to be our friend? There's no way he could fit in that I box. Blue. I thought I was in the clear. Nope. But green followed closely behind. You see, green was blind. But the second he got his fingers on you, you were done for. And unfortunately for me, he was right on my path. I moved the box slowly, careful not to make a sound. But I couldn't see a thing. And I messed up. Uh-oh. You're not gonna look backwards, you're just gonna walk? Oh no. Ah! Yeah, that's a problem. Green grabbed me and brought me back to the lab. Green was a dutiful servant. To him, the man in charge. Red. He smiled at me, and I could tell then and there that he was pure evil. They tossed me in a machine, and as the motors whirred and the sparks flew, my body was full and stretched in every which way. The last thing I remember was a very bright light. My ears were ringing as my light flashed before my eyes. I thought back to my life on the farm. What? Kids, dinner's ready. It was a simple life, but there were a lot of mouths to feed besides my own. Wait a second. Okay, let's look about Orange family here. He's got a mom, a dad, one, two, three, four, five, six brothers and sisters, including himself. So that is a family of nine. If any of you guys have a family bigger than nine, just you, your parents, your brothers and sisters, let me know in the comments. That's actually incredible. When everyone else had cleared their plates, I was left unsatisfied. I was still hungry. Always hungry. Mom was worried about me, but they didn't have the means to indulge my desires. She reminded me that they had animals to feed too. What? And this gave me an idea. Okay, so mom's feeding me behind her pigs? What's he gonna do now? I don't like the face he's making. Is he gonna eat these pigs? Oh. I'll give you that. But I couldn't stop. Ew. My dad had caught me, and boy, did he let me have it. So I decided then and there, if I can't eat their food, I could always just eat them. What? My habit had gotten so bad in their eyes that they decided to send me off to boarding school. The first day started off very scary for me. I was worried about being the odd one out. But then I realized I was huge, big, and powerful. This filled me with a sense of pride. At the cafeteria, the lunch lady gave me a meager serving, and I devoured it all in one big old bite. The others thought this was awesome. What? That I 
was awesome. Those guys offered out their own lunches just to watch the spectacle, and I happily obliged. Downing tray after tray, there was no rule against sharing, you see, but I don't think the teachers liked this little loophole. But whether they were happy, I couldn't care less, because this was the happiest I had ever been. Until I found out the truth. What's the truth? I thought they liked me for who I was. Oh. Turns out, I was just a sideshow. A freak. They threw out names like Hungry Hungry Hippo and the Trash Compactor. I had considered my gift to be something special about me. But turns out, everyone else thought it was just plain weird. Except, perhaps, for one girl. Okay, uh, the advice to whatever this girl's name is, we're gonna call her Nancy until we actually find out her name. Turn the other way and run for a long time and don't look back because this dude is not only going to be evil, he's probably gonna end up eating you for lunch. She even offered to help me change my ways. She showed me all sorts of stuff. Salads, jogging, <laughs> diet shakes, yoga, herbal tea, swimming. I hated them That's all. That's not how you swim. It was the absolute worst. No. And went against my entire nature. She tried, but I knew deep down that it wasn't me. I made up my mind. If I couldn't become thin like everyone seemed to want me to, then I would get even bigger to spite them all. What? I went on a quest that day to become the world's largest man. My family held a hot dog eating contest at the farm. Oh! Oh! I called it! I literally... <laughs> I literally said he was going to be a professional hot dog eater. Okay, I promised that I would now give myself a million dollars. I don't have a million dollars to give myself. Um... Well, you know what? I'm just going to give myself a pat on the back. Okay, that just became the greatest prediction I have ever had in my life. I can't believe I was actually right. I sweat so hard that they had to travel 15 miles just to pick up more dogs. Whoa. And it didn't stop there. News of my decisive victory spread throughout the paper. People wanted to watch me perfect my craft. I went from show to show and I creamed them all. Anyways, throughout it all, the same girl tagged along. She, despite her best efforts to change me, really cared about me deep down. Well, that's nice. It felt so good to be loved by someone for who I was. As I won more and more competitions, I became something of a celebrity. I was on the top of the world, and at last I had done it. I was officially the world's largest man, and I felt good. One day, I got a phone call from the family that sent me away all those years ago. Hello, honey. Your father and I saw you on the television again. You looked happy. But, son, you're not healthy. Please, come home. We can help you work through your issues. We love you. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I thought they might have called to beg me for money, sure, but this? What issues? I was fine. I was famous and big. My friends saw me go off on my mother in a fit of rage. I really let her have it. This was the final straw. She told me that she didn't like what I was turning into, that the fame had gotten to my head, that I was becoming a monster. No, you're just becoming really fat. That's what's going on. You gotta go on a diet, buddy. I showed her the door, and as she cried her tearful goodbye, I was already on the phone again ordering myself a pizza. Nice. Until I caught a look at myself. In the mirror, I had become unrecognizable. Even to myself, more and more I spiraled out of control. I could only think of her. Even as I shoveled more and more food into my mouth, I saw her in my spaghetti. What? I saw her in my fries. What? I saw her in my plate, right next to the mashed potatoes and gravy. No. That's this a problem. On and on until I could no longer enjoy my meals. Okay, another thing I want to bring up, buddy. Uh, I still don't know your name, so I'm gonna call you Ricardo, even though I'm pretty sure we learned his name and I just forgot it. Uh, this is a big thing. The painting behind you is a little bit off kilter there, and it's really bothering me. So if you could fix that, that would be great. Thank you. I was at rock bottom. This all changed when I got one more phone call. Here we go. 
Hello. Is this the world's largest man? Not anymore. I'm retired. I can't eat like I used to. Uh-oh. Nonsense. You just haven't found the right meal yet. Not to worry. I have one to die for. The man on the phone's offer intrigued me, and like the fool I was, I arranged a meeting. I was met with the most lavish meal I'd ever laid eyes on, and it was all you could eat. Thoughts of my lost love faded away as I rekindled my joy of eating. I was in heaven. Something seemed off, though. The two waiters were wearing sheets over their heads, and one of them kept bumping into the table. I thought it must have just been some weird uniform, and maybe it was the clumsy one's first day, until it came time for dessert. I hope you're ready, friend, because now it's time for your final treat. Uh-oh. Or should I say, trick. This is not good. Not good. The waiters came to the side of the man and took off their coverings. Before me stood two of the scariest things I'd ever laid eyes on. Sure, in another context, they might not have been all that bad. But here, they looked like they were going to eat me. Wh what? Yeah, they happening? probably are. Stay away. I ran and ran, and in that moment, I wished I had followed my friend's advice all those years ago. I was found by Green, put into the man's machine, and turned into Orange, the newest rainbow friend. During the transformation, my body rejected the years of mass that I had built up and expunged it, even as my form became narrow and skinny. I was small now, the smallest of the rainbow friends. My pride would have been hurt, but all I knew in that moment was that I was hungry, hungrier than I had ever been. Okay. After that, they arranged feeding times, and if one were to ever be missed, an alarm would sound, and I would come running for a proper meal. Unfortunately, most people were timely with their supper deliveries. Which brings us to today. One woman has finally forgotten to feed me, and now I'm nearly upon my first prey. Sorry ah, about that. I got you now. <laughs> Please don't! I'm looking for my friend! Please! No! No! Not you! Why did it have to be you? Oh! I can't help it! Forgive me! That is so sad! Check out my other YouTube channel, it's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video!